Hello, my name is Holland Timmons, otherwise known as the Connoisseur on this channel. Today we'll be looking at the Steelbook of Daredevil, the complete season 2 for Netflix. Uh, this is on Netflix, but I decided to get the complete season 2 Steelbook from Zavi.com, which is a UK-based uh, entertainment company that sells Steelbooks like this one. Um, talking about Daredevil, um, this season sees him in the costume and actually gets a costume upgrade, just like in The Dark Knight Rises. Um, well, not The Dark Knight Rises, The Dark Knight, just like in The Dark Knight, not only is he, like, present on the streets doing his thing, but there's also a sense of escalation. And you get that with the Punisher, Frank Castle, arriving on the scene, taking out a bunch of gangs on a vendetta quest. And you also have the hand stirring things up. <laughs> See what I did there? And uh, Elektra getting involved, involved and evolved. Um, Elektra is sort of evolved from this initial killer, and she's more portrayed as this sort of this fun-loving bitch who just loves killing people. And Matt Murdock has to deal with all of this while uh, poorly balancing his defense lawyer career. So, yeah, that's the season. Kingpin is in prison still, and there's just this sense of escalation that Daredevil has to deal with, just like Batman has to deal with in The Dark Knight. So, um, let's look at the Steelbook, shall we? As you can see, um, Joe Quesada did the artwork. He also did the artwork for the comic book Daredevil Father, the artwork for the first Steelbook I reviewed. And he did the artwork for Kevin Smith's Guardian Devil Run, which, which actually introduced me to the world of Daredevil, so there you go. Um, here's the back. As you can see, there's Elektra, there's King Ten, there's Mountain Foggy, and there's the Punisher. And there's Daredevil, as you can see. Um, Here's the full case. As you can see, it's embossed, so there are places where you can actually feel the uh, ridges of the character. Oh, and also, you can see it's scared out in front of something. What's he in front of? On, on the back, it's none other than Frank Castle's Punisher logo. So, there's the Marvel logo on the back. Let's uh, just suck them. go with the uh, image on the back. Uh, Daredevil, as you can see, his upgraded suit mask. Um, and as you can see, there are more discs. Um, slides out. Uh, region A, B, and C. Uh, no, Region A is America. Region B, I believe, is England and the UK. And Region C, I believe that's Germany or Europe. I'm not sure, though. Uh, but, no, it's a great series. Um, very great series. You can catch it on Netflix if you want to. Or, uh, you know, I got the initial release when it sold out, but apparently they brought it back with more copies on Zavi. So if you go to Zavi.com, at least for now, you can still buy another print of this uh, steelbook while you can. 
I actually really enjoyed this series, and I don't know why, but I'm get really getting into steelbooks in terms of my movie collection. And there you go. I don't really rate steelbooks, and I don't really rate shows, but as soon as I rate a uh, steelbook that has to do with the movie, I'll give the movie a rating. Mm -hmm. I've been doing shows. So yeah, that is Daredevil, and uh, definitely not for kids. Um, definitely a step up from the Ben Affleck, Jennifer Garner movie. I do like the director's cut of that movie, but um, the Netflix series is definitely better. But it still can't beat the comics, at least the Frank Miller, Kevin Smith, and others comics. The comics are really where Daredevil is at, so um, if you like the show, if you like the movie, check out the comics, because the comics are really good. I'd really recommend the initial Frank Miller run, also Born Again, uh, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, Guardian Devil, um, the Brian Michael Bendy's run, and the Ed Brubaker run, right before Shadowland. Um, don't do Shadowland. Um, I haven't read beyond anything. I haven't read anything beyond that. But yeah, that's my. Well, if you want to go back to see where it all began, I would go with the Stan Lee run as well. So he's more of an Errol Flynn type character there. Uh, if you don't know Errol Flynn, I would also recommend that you check out Errol Flynn. Okay, uh, this is the Connoisseur signing off. Have a nice evening. If you want, like, comment, or subscribe. Alright, peace.